Oh my gosh, dude, I just had like a five pounder eat it. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, this is so freaking fun. What is up guys, this is day one of practice, Lake Murray. And man, it feels good to be back. Uh, I've only fished here one time, fished it about three years ago, and, and that was the only time. Uh, but that was actually about three weeks later than what we got right now. Uh, there was kind of like the tail end of the spawn, beginning of shad spawn. I got my beautiful wife FaceTime me right now. Hold on a second, let's see what we got. Oh, there's my little baby girl. What's up? We're out here, we're, uh, we're just getting ready to idle out. Love you. Family support is everything, guys. Makes you fish good. Hey, when stuff at home's not good, you don't fish good. I really feel like a lot of these fish, the majority of these fish are gonna be spawning. Water temperature 60 degrees, beginning of April, we're on a moon. I mean, it's just perfect scenario. The only thing we got against us is we got some, uh, some clouds and rain forecasted throughout the week. So tune in guys, we're gonna get ahead and try to figure this thing out. We're really gonna try to mark as many fish, try to get in some good areas, but you're gonna see how I break down Lake Murray. No way it's a bass, it's a striper. That one's gotta be a striper. Striper. Sounds like what the heck. Well, one just came up right there, too. It was that same thing? Ah. Oh. That's a bass. And red eyes on him, man. Generally red eyes mean spawning, but I mean he could have been spawning. Up here, nice little two and two and three quarter. We like bass, we don't like stripers. Now, if it's fall time and I'm out in Jersey Boy Charters, it's a little different story. Basically what I'm just doing is I'm fishing this fluke really fast and just resembling a herring. If you guys don't follow if you guys don't follow Matt Becker's YouTube channel, Matt Becker, uh, he also competes over here now on the Bass Pro Tour. It's his first year. He actually caught him doing this exact technique about three years ago when we were here. And he uh, he actually won a tournament. Now I think this is going to be a really big player for the Elite Series. So the Bassmaster Elites are coming here at the end of this month, and I really feel like this is going to be the main deal. Right now, I think it's a little early. I think there are some bass out here, clearly. But I don't think you got them big schools. But we're going to keep it honest. I mean, the herring spawn, it actually gets better as the day goes on. So we're going to, we're going to keep this honest and keep mixing this in throughout... Uh, throughout our practice. something right there it's a nice one <sighs> big bass dude I think it's a big bass 
thought it was a big giant bass. Was it a striper? I can't tell. Now he's fighting like a striper. Oh, it is a striper. Dang, dude. That kind of sucked. I gotta figure out a better way to rig this flute, though, because... I'm only getting, like, one... one fish out of it. Another one blew up right there. That flute's all jacked up. Oh, dang it. It looked like a striper. Oh, nice large mouth. Dude, this is sick. It's a nice one. Nice one. Hey, this is the. Oh, they blew up again right here. Gosh dang, dude, I don't know how I want to fish this tournament. I ain't gonna lie, throwing a fluke and a top water on this stuff is freaking sick. Oh, but they're going, they're going real good over up all the way up there on that point. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. What is that? What is that? Dude, tell me that's not a striper. Did you get him? Yeah, I got him. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Huge tail slap. I can't tell what it is. It's a big bass! It's a big bass! Ah! Oh, it's a striper! <laughs> it's a striper! <laughs> ah! God dang, I thought that was the one. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, this is so freaking fun. So this is the exact bait. Well, not the exact bait. Hold on a second, I gotta, I gotta hug this thing. This is right here is the bait that I caught him on the last time I was here. It's a Berkeley Hijacker. It's a really good herring bait. And right now, you can clearly tell that the stripers and bass mixed in. Oh, I gotta put that food on. That was sick. <laughs> One just ate it right there. I don't know how big he is. let go oh we picked it up again i just want to see you oh there you are how big are you oh you're probably like close to three pounds close to three i'd say i think that one was on a bed up here in the corner Oh my gosh, dude, I just had like a five pounder eat it. Five pounders got it right now. Five pounder, straight up. I watched him just come up. Let it go either. I have a 
hook on this thing. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Dude, it's gonna go all the way behind the pontoon, but I right, let go. Straight up five pounder. <laughs> Floating worm. Dan, you saw it come up? Yeah. I'm watching. Oh. One's got it. Big one, dude. Big one. Seeing four, four plus pounder. This is the deal, dude. Dead end, back little parts of these drains. I mean, this is a big one. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. It's a freaking giant. Just like yo. Giant. I seen him waking it. I love this floating worm, man. He's just twitching real high on the surface. You can see him coming most of the way. Way back home. When I first started bass fishing, man. We used to go to a place called Mananico Ponds whenever they're spawning. And he used to throw a bubble gum one. Right now I'm throwing a thylate. But same concept. I mean, I, I think they're both just real loud and obnoxious. And for whatever reason, and spawning bass just can't resist this thing, man. That one right there, take it. So look, I'm gonna show you guys real quick kind of what I'm doing. So basically, here I got my map. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see this is a dead end little pocket. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna throw a waypoint. I'm putting uh, basically that pink little fish icon. I'm using that, essentially that's a spawning bass for me. Then I'll come over here and I'll label it. Right there, that was a four pound. And then I'm just putting four pound float. So basically, um, it was a four pound bite on a floating worm. And I'll get ahead and I'll hit save. And then now I know whenever I roll up here, you know, since I'm not throwing a hook in this bait, I can throw this bait right back in there. Now, hypothetically, say if I caught him on a, let's say a general, and I actually hooked them, I don't want to throw that general in there again. So it gives me kind of a, you know, idea on maybe what to approach that fish first with. We're going to get over and keep moving. And we got to run as much of this stuff as we can. There are some big ones using it, boys. Big ones. Oh my god, did you see that one? Bro, dude, that was another giant. Did you see his mouth come up? Bro, it was all mouth and friggin' lips. Did you see that? Do I even throw back over there? Now what was that one? I didn't even I didn't even get a real good look at it, no. but it, it wasn't no two and a half pounder. I'd like to get over there and see if I can see if there's one spawning over there. I think I do see a spot. I'm gonna try. Oh, one just ate me right here. Oh, one just ate me right there. Guys, this, this lake here is absolutely incredible. All right, so I see I see a, I see a good one up there spawning. That's a little one, and then that's like probably like a three something. I think that three something was the one that just bit me.
All right, guys, so uh, that light spot right there, and if you see, there's one, two, three cutoff stumps, and it's a four pounder. So four pound, three cut off stumps. So now I know exactly where to cast. Save. Oh, got him. So now I know when I come in here in his pocket, because we're marking a lot of fish, you know, we're seeing a lot of fish up shallow. I know all I need to do, find the three cutoff stumps, and there's that light spot right in front of it. And all I gotta do is fire over there, and that fish is fired up, dude. If it stays, that's gonna be an easy one to catch. I'm about to catch this fish. Just kind of see how big these are that I've been seeing. I to get it's only about a two and a half. I had to get it. It's about exactly what he is. About two and a half. Every once in a while, guys, it's good to just catch one that you know you're not going to use just to kind of get your eyes right. And I'd say that's about a, about a two and a half pounder. <laughs> close to three actually a little bigger a little better than three probably three and a quarter weigh in real quick dude I, I pulled them I cast it up there and I pulled the whole school I had a, I had one one ticket this lake is just unbelievable I mean it's a phenomenal lake man yes yeah, a three two little over three pounds it's not really the size you're looking for but if that's your small one you're doing all right Practice, Daddy tries to block the rest of the crew so you practice. <laughs> 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 I'm from practice, that's my gut, but I don't know. Well, hey, I, usually my I man. See, I have seen you once in practice, one yeah, time. He did. No, so usually, my usually my man's gut is, pre is pretty right. My, my man's gut ain't right this tournament. Hey, you've been, you've been off a lot this week, I man. Have. I have it. Very rarely do you struggle. Struggle. Hey, the cool thing about this format now, guys, so it's a five fish, like you guys know. When Bass Pro Tour first came out, we weren't allowed to talk, like at all. And we come back to the house and we and, and we sit here with our with our hands in our pockets, just what like you guys. Oh, no, it's gonna come out. Oh man, but so uh, so yeah, we, we were able to kind of talk, you know, amongst the group. You know, Mark, he got, he got on this floating worm bite, and I locked that in my hand. I had a couple of really good bites in practice doing it, like you guys seen. A couple of really big ones. Some big Dude, it's unbelievable. And then uh, you guys didn't see second day of practice. Second day of practice, the reason why you didn't see it is because it rained. Uh, just nasty weather. BJ, my man behind the camera right now, he wasn't with me. Uh, but the second day of practice was a good day of practice. Uh, ran almost points exclusively. Uh, it was windy, rainy, so I wasn't sight fishing at all, and I just, I mean, I point hopped. Um, really similar to what I did a couple years ago when I was here. 
and um, and I and I like what I seen. I had, I had a lot of bites. I had some quality bites, um, and I, and I, Jacob did it for a little while. He caught a five pounder doing it. Yeah. Mark caught some up the river trapping. So um, that's definitely going down, but uh, we will see. Tomorrow is my first day of competition, and. Um, you should have 18 pounds spot in 18 minutes. No, no, no. <laughs> well, like right. JVD. So, yeah, yeah, right. I wish, man. Yeah, he reeled him in. 18 Smash. pounds. You can't hardly re- reel him in any faster than that. No. Dude, how the heck? No. You literally cannot. He pulled right up on a freaking wad of that was Bop, 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 so, so, today was first day of competition, and uh, these two guys fished. DC and I, we did not fish, so we just uh, we just rigged up tackle. And uh, the leader, Jonathan Van Dam, caught 18 pounds in 18 minutes. That's what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. That was impressive. Uh, what? It's unbelievable. Very impressive. Yeah. Ended up with, like, uh, just under 21. 22 pounds. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to have to reel him in. I think uh, the cut line is currently, like, right at 16 pounds, mm-hmm. which is kind of what we thought. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right there. 16. Uh, 15. It's going down tomorrow. 15. I, I can see a 15 to 8. That's your guess. 15 to 8. What do you got, Mark? For y'all's cut weight? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely going to be 15 something. I can't put it. Uh, it's 15 yeah. 13 right now. It's 15 13, yeah. <clears throat> 15 6. And a quarter. Yeah, 15 and a quarter. 15 4. Yep. All right. All right. <laughs> They're real. They're All right, well, that's it. I'm going to bed. All right, boys. Catch them up. Yeah. All right, we'll see you. Good luck, brother. All right. Later, guys. This one right here is a giant one. Really? Oh, yeah. Giant one. Bro, let me just tell you, listen. Promise, this is a big one. I'm, I'm, I'm not lying. That sucker look like this big. Hold on, come over here. Let it go. He's on the bottom now, you can't. Oh, there he is right there. That's him right there. Right, right. Oh, that's him right there. Right there. He's coming up the troll motor. Oh, man. You couldn't really get a good look at him, but that's him. That, I'm not lying. Big. Oh, we're getting out of here. Oh, <laughs>